Hey, I had a YouTube channel and it took me seven years to get 4,000 subscribers and 200 bucks. But then I got 100,000 views, 7,000 subscribers in just seven days. So I'm going to give you the full breakdown of how to start a YouTube channel so you can skip all the wasted time. Hey, stay until the end. I'll tell you the top 12 niches that make the most money here on YouTube. And lastly, I'll also tell you how to make better thumbnails and titles because people will not watch your videos if they do not click on it. So I'm saving the best for last. Let's get to the material. All right, first I wanna start with number seven and it's a software where you can edit your YouTube videos. I'm starting with video editing first because the reason that most people get number one, tired and they quit their YouTube channel or they experience burnout is because of editing. It's the longest part of creating a YouTube channel. So I want to refer you to the software Recut and you can go to getrecut.com slash the blessing report because it cuts out all the dead space out of your video and I have edited YouTube videos where it has literally taken me four hours to make one YouTube video versus with recut that four hour edit actually takes four seconds it cuts out all the data spaces all the mistakes so that it makes your editing process easier so you can use my affiliate link at getrecut.com to receive 10 percent off of this 100 million dollar <laughs> software it's literally amazing it's a must-have all right next area where you definitely need to invest if you want to start a youtube channel is your website so as a youtuber you don't want to be stuck at the mercy of the youtube algorithm or even other social media platforms like instagram TikTok, facebook because you might get blackballed blacklisted or canceled. So you need a professional website or a professional landing page where you can collect emails, you can sell products or resources, and you also can reach out to brands or brands can reach out to you. So the first area that you need to create a legitimate website is a domain name and a hosting platform. So I will refer you to Bluehost as your hosting platform and where you can register your domain name because you just need a place to house your website, right? And so you can click the affiliate link for Bluehost where it is only $3 a month and you're just gonna start off by paying for the whole year. And that is gonna get you on your way to having a legitimate website. And to help y'all out, how many of us like free? I am offering to give you an absolutely free website for Cerro De Niro. <laughs> so typically the website of this caliber would cost you probably $187. And I have personally paid over $600 for hiring someone to make my website. But I am working with the free website guys and you can use my affiliate link to get an absolutely free website. So they are running an initiative to help web developers in impoverished areas come out of poverty. So that is why you can get your first website absolutely free by using my affiliate link. And the reason you want to create a website is because if you're using the Google AdSense as your payout, number one, you need 1,000 subscribers to get paid through Google AdSense and also 4,000 watch hours. Versus if you have a website and you set up your selling merch, email list, and your invoices and so on and so forth, you can actually begin to monetize before you're actually monetized on YouTube. And suppose you actually don't like free. And I'm like, okay, you want to actually build something yourself. I will refer you to using squarespace.com as your website builder. I think that is very user friendly. I think it's intuitive for first time website builders to just use the widgets and use the plugins just to drag and drop all your assets. And you can do it all yourself if you don't want to use my free web developer and website maker. And so I'll use my affiliate program 
you can actually get your Squarespace website at a discount, link below. So next, you're gonna be having all this money moolah coming at you. And so you have to make sure that you have an account so that number one, you can receive all the Google AdSense for your video views. And then number two, you need to be able to process payments for your merch, for your invoices, if you're doing brand deals with companies. They want you to do a sponsorship or they want you to do an endorsement. They need to be able to be invoiced. So I have two accounts that you can use so you can start earning De Niro. <laughs> Number one, I would recommend you using a SoFi account because you can also reserve your taxes because this is the biggest thing if you're gonna be a YouTuber. You're gonna have taxes either quarterly or one big lump sum at the end of the year. And so it's important that you differentiate your regular earning if you have a job or you're an entrepreneur versus your influencer content creator because if you, let's just say you go viral and you make a million dollars on your YouTube channel, you have to make sure that the IRS is receiving, we'll say $500,000, right? But if you spent all your money on cars and houses and just going viral, right? You're still gonna owe the IRS $500,000 at the end of the year. So it's important that you actually reserve a separate bank account so that you don't touch that money if you actually need it. And then you could just click, and again, my affiliate link for a SoFi checking his account, saving his account, or also, which is cool with SoFi, is that they're gonna actually give you free money for signing up with an affiliate link. And so I think you get like $25 when you deposit just like 100 bucks, right? So just put 100 bucks in there, boom, you got 25% on your return and your investments. And so this is really cool about a SoFi account. It also allows you to invest. So you can use ETFs, stocks, dividends, and so on and so forth, so you can get to financial freedom. Next, you're gonna have to be able to process debit cards, credit cards, and your other stuff for your merchandise, for your gear, for all that cool stuff, right? So if you want to be able to do that, I would recommend using the Square app and Square Processing, where it actually gives you like a chip reader. I've been using it for years when it comes to, if you wanna sell books or you wanna sell stickers or clothing, you can actually set up a processing center with your website because if you're using even WordPress, you're gonna need a WooCommerce processing widget or gadget attached to your website, right? So to be able to actually process funds electronically, I would recommend using my affiliate link with square.com so that you can get a square card reader if you wanna use cards in person or if you want people to be able to type in their credit card online, right? And so next, if you want to have your own merch, so if you want custom t-shirts, custom hats, backpacks, aprons, stickers, posters, so on and so forth. I would recommend using Printful. They are a print on demand website. So this is how you can monetize outside of your Google AdSense because everyone knows that YouTube views fluctuate very much so. You can't control them at all, right? And so the algorithm isn't fooling with you. This is why you need your email list and this is why you need to be able to have access to your subscribers and to your website. And so you don't have to worry about inventory. You only have to do the setup. You have to make the designs and you have to have a place where people can go and purchase your stuff. So just create a store on Printful by clicking link in my description box or my bio and you can get an affiliate discount. I think that they are giving you like free $5 <laughs> or something. And so that's pretty cool that they're actually helping you out and you're receiving a discount. So that's really cool that you're not gonna have a backlog of inventory if you cannot sell it. And so print on demand just means one person wants a shirt, they pay for your shirt and then boom, they make the shirt. So everything is handled at the actual inventory center, not by you. You don't have to touch anything. So the next category, number four, that you have to invest in when it comes to your YouTube channel 
is number one, a graphic designer, and number two, and video editor. So we use ReCut to do our video editing, but suppose that you do not want to edit your own videos and you don't want to edit your own thumbnails, right? So there are two softwares that you can use that will help with your thumbnail design and video editing. And so we're gonna start with a two-in-one software and it comes from Canva and a Canva Pro. So again, if you want a free option, you can just edit on your Mac or on your iPhone. They have built-in editing software, but suppose you want people to have drop dead gorgeous thumbnails, right? They actually have templates of YouTube thumbnails in Canva Pro. And so they have some free options and you also have some paid options. And so if you click my affiliate link, you can actually get 30 days of Canva Pro for free and you can just try it out. But one thing I would say about Canva Pro that distinguishes it from Photoshop when it comes to your thumbnails is the background editing software where you can edit out the background on, on photos and it actually gives you motion software where you can put it into your videos, right? And so I think Canva Pro on the monthly is only 12 or 13 dollars and i would say this software because i think that my adobe editing software is 30 bucks a month i promise you it's worth way more than 30 dollars and the fact that they're charging 13 dollars is a steal and the fact that you can get one month for free is an absolute steal as you use my affiliate link and so even if you're like hey i don't want to pay for the whatever version, the pro version, just use it for free for 30 days and then cancel it because you can actually get all the thumbnails you, you need from the templates, save them all <laughs> and just cancel your subscription afterwards. But I think that the fact that you can do both thumbnail editing and video editing and Canva Pro is absolutely worth the money. I promise you, as a person who has edited his own videos and edited his own thumbnails, this is probably like one of the most important parts of your YouTube journey. And if you would like to take your video editing up to the next level, I would recommend you trying out the seven day free trial of Envato Elements. And so, just like Canva, they give you free templates, but they also give you free stock video, free stock um, pictures, free stock templates, and free stock music. The music portion when it comes to Envada Elements is the reason that you wanna get the free trial. I'm telling you, go in there because how Envada Elements distinguishes itself from every other software company or stock footage um, website is the music BPM. So BPMs just means beats per minute, right? So you can get free stock music from um, the YouTube video editor and they have a section, but they only separate by genre. So they have literally millions of free stock music, but the problem is that they can only separate by genre and mood, right? So if you have to go through punk rock as your genre, and it will say your mood is somber, but you can't get the right tempo to fit your video, music controls the pacing for all your video editing needs. And so this is really crucial for, in short, your watch time on your video. So if you get the music right, this just takes your editing to a whole nother level. But if you get the music wrong, it actually will kill a video. I promise that I'm telling you the truth. <laughs> and so this is why I really like Envato, El <laughs> Envato Elements, but also you can get high definition videos so they can be in 4K or higher or lower 1080 HP. And because you have professional 
videographers and professional photographers, instead of actually hiring people to do that, you can actually get professionals that they're giving their free templates. So again, that is Canva Pro affiliate link down below and then Envato Elements affiliate link back down below. Number three, you have advanced. You no longer want to do your own video editing. You no longer want to do your own thumbnail editing. I believe your first hire as a YouTuber or a content creator or an influencer should be a video editor. This will maximize your time by hiring an actual virtual assistant and human. And this will have you be able to put out more because the B-roll that you put in your video and the different transitions actually increases your watch time because you can just worry about creating, being a personality and so on and so forth. And you don't have to split your brain doing dual roles as both the content creator, the personality, the video editor, the graphic designer. No, 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 no. Don't do that. So a site that I would recommend you outsourcing your video editing, graphic design, virtual assistant needs would be iWorker. And what's cool about iWorker is the fact that they are trying to link up entrepreneurs, professionals, YouTubers, content creators, influencers with skilled remote professionals in crisis countries, right? So they're actually trying to pull people out by giving them developed skills from countries like Venezuela, Zimbabwe, and the Philippines. So when you're hiring a graphic designer, a virtual assistant, a copywriter, or a video editor, you're actually helping them to prevent them from being refugees in their countries. So here's the breakdown. You will probably hire them for $7 an hour, and they will literally perform <laughs> just like a Western or an American video editor, but the cost is better suited for your own needs. So a video editor, if you were to work in the States, would probably be 30 an hour, 20 an hour, right? But you're just starting off, you're just trying to grow. So the seven an hour at the same skill set in the same proficiency is just a must have. So definitely check out the affiliate link below. And I'll break this down for you also, so you can just know how much money you're actually earning back when it comes to hiring someone and getting your time back. So one minute of a YouTube video to edit for an editor is one hour worth of editing, right? So we're gonna use $30 an hour in the States. We'll say your YouTube video is 10 minutes. 10 times 30 is $300. Versus if you work with my affiliate link with iWorker, you'll hire them at $7 an hour times 10, that's only 70, right? So you can actually begin to scale because if you're selling your merchandise, if you are taking your donations from our other apps and softwares, you're actually gonna be able to pay your, your virtual assistant and then you can actually scale quicker and faster. And what's also cool about iWorker is that they're actually gonna give you five free hours by clicking on the affiliate link and you actually receive a discount as well. So you can get a virtual assistant, you don't like them, hey, this is just five free hours of just testing it out. And another major hack when it comes to hiring a virtual assistant, I'm telling you, this is a major hack, major hack alert, major hack alert. <laughs> so um, a hiring a virtual assistant, you can actually use them to get brand deals. And this is how you get endorsements, this is how you get in sponsorships, right? So I'm not gonna say everything, but you hire a virtual assistant to reach out to different companies. And instead of you wasting your time doing, we'll just say you can hire, I mean, outreach to five an hour. When they're doing that five to hour, you can edit your videos, you can record your videos, you can do on so on and so forth and they can just reach more people because sometimes it's just a number game when it comes to brand deals and endorsements and sponsorships. And so if they are getting 100 emails a week, right, that you're not doing, then you can then use one of those brand deals, $1,000, boom! So you just made a thousand bucks and 
it may have cost you, we'll just say 100 to $300, right? But you also got back your time. So I will be telling y'all <laughs> the major hack I'll tell you like a breakdown of exactly how you should instruct your virtual assistant to do an outreach. And that's again in the description box below, but I'm gonna save that secret sauce. <laughs> but if you would like to know, I will tell you. Number two, <laughs> thing you'll need for starting a YouTube channel, you're gonna need some gear, right? You're gonna need some cameras, you're gonna need some lights, <laughs> you're gonna need microphones, you're gonna start upgrading, right? And so the reason I put this last is because you are going to be making your YouTube channel, not your gear. So everyone thinks that you need all this fancy stuff. You don't need fancy stuff. And so the breakdown for a YouTube channel or just being a content creator or an influencer is just two categories. It's either entertainment or education. And so if you are serving others, money just follows, right? And so you don't need the best gear. You just have to be useful. You have to be a servant, right? And so what I'll say, is, hey, if you're starting out on a YouTube channel, use your cell phone to record your videos, right? Cameras are advancing a lot. And so even Androids or iPhone will be doable with the newer set, right? But if you're like, okay, I'm moving from my cell phone, what is my next step to investing in my channel? I would say sound. I think that sound is one of the most important things when it comes to videos. People will watch grainy videos, but they will not listen to bad sound videos, right? And so what you can do to make your sound better, I'm actually gonna show you what I'm doing. I am using my cell phone, I have an iPhone, to actually record the sound for this video. <laughs> I know that probably didn't sound well, but just so y'all know. And I'm also using my Apple Watch, right? And so definitely use affiliate link if you want to use an actual microphone to know like which microphones to buy. But if you're like, hey, I went down, I don't have money for a microphone. You can actually take your voice memos from your iPhone and use it as your recording device or your microphone, right? Or same voice memo on your um, Apple Watch it will record the sound for you. So that's a great way to advance your sound. Next, after the sound, so either use your cell phone and use a camera to record and use this phone for the sound, or you can actually buy a real sound microphone, right? Description box below, affiliate links. But next, after the sound, you will want to upgrade your lighting, right? You need to be able to control the lighting so I don't know if you have noticed, <laughs> but sometimes in my videos or other people's videos, the lighting will shift. And the reason the lighting is shift because if you use natural light, right, you are at the whim of the sun, clouds, and overcast. It's the worst. <laughs> but if you actually use some lighting setups, you can use ones that attach to your cell phone. You can use ones that's attached to your camera or you can use like the legitimate ones that you have setups, right? So again, affiliate links below of just a perfect lighting setup. And all you need is a two point light. And so what does that mean? You need light coming from the left side of you. And you need light coming from the right side of you because if you do something on the middle, it's gonna create a harsh background shadow and you don't want that in your videos. I'm just using, and this is a white backdrop. It's just literally just a white sheet, right? And so if you want something cheap, you can actually use a bed sheet, but you just have to make sure that the material that you're using isn't thin enough where it's see-through that goes into the back wall. And so this material is pretty thick, so you should be good to go with that. But after the sound first, the lighting second, you want to upgrade and invest in your camera. I'm gonna tell you the best YouTuber cameras, right? So if you're just curious about what I am personally using, I am using a PowerShot G1X Canon camera, but I will say this, <laughs> which is pretty funny. I didn't mean to buy this camera, but it's actually a great camera. I actually meant to buy the PowerShot G7X Mark II. So that is the camera that I recommend. But if you want a, I guess a heavier duty camera, three other cameras that people use is the Sony RX100 Mark II, the Sony A7S III, 
and then the Canon RF or the Canon R, right? So these are the pretty big and bulky heavy duty cameras that you usually see. And so that is going to be your next investment. Just so you know, these cameras probably run a minimum of $400. But if you're like, hey, my cell phone, <laughs> it costs like a couple thousand. I don't, I don't know if I want to wait on it. But, or if you're like, hey, I actually don't want to wait. I'm ready to make the investment. Cool, go get your camera, right? And major hack <laughs> when it comes to editing and like messing up and so on and so forth, when it comes to the gear that you're investing in, there is another breakout software that will transform your video editing and also your podcasting forever. And it's called Descript. And what's so cool about Descript is that it uses artificial intelligence or AI to actually copy your own voice. So suppose I'm talking in my YouTube video and I'm saying um too many times and I'm not enjoying it, right? You can actually go in and it will, number one, transcribe your video speech. And so if you ever want captions on your video or on your TikTok or on your Instagram post where you can make YouTube shorts as well, it's actually going to transcribe your words and type them on screen. So that's number one. But if you want to delete um, your ums, like I just did, you can actually go into the software and it's going to type out in your transcription the um, and when you delete the um, it's going to cut that in your video or in your podcast. And so what's actually cool about the AI, suppose you're having a bad day, <laughs> you don't have enough material, or you don't want to be on screen and you don't even like the sound of your voice. Number one, they will actually give you a few voice options or voice modulators where you can type out or you can hire, again, a virtual assistant to do copy or write a paragraph or a blog, so on and so forth. And the AI will actually make a pretty realistic human voice, or you can type out your material after you do just a 10 minute voice recording so they can learn your own voice. The AI will make your own voice. Isn't that so cool? So I'll actually give y'all a sample because the AI is actually recording me right now. So we'll actually see does the AI sound like Winston Mayo? So, let's see. <laughs> all right, last. No. Number one, you have all the gear, you have all the assistance, you have all the hiring. This is the most important thing that you need to know about making a YouTube channel, making a YouTube video, and how to be successful on the platform. It's gonna come down to these three things. It is number one, your idea for a video. Number two, your thumbnail for the video. And then number three, the title for the video. I say this for last because you just have to know that you will waste all your time <laughs> making a video if nobody clicks on it. That is literally the most important thing. And it's that old adage, don't judge a book by a cover. That's literally a lie on YouTube and on social media. Everyone judges a book by its cover, by its thumbnail, and by its title, right? And so how do you know what type of videos to make? Sometimes it is pretty hard to have a personality brand or a blog or so on and so forth. So you have to be able to know, and it actually saves you on burnout. And many people stop YouTube channels because you did all this work, but no one's watching your video. Most likely it's because the thumbnail's not working or the title's not resonating. So two softwares that you can use so you can know what type of videos to make and how to title your material is number one, TubeBuddy. And you can use my affiliate link, it's either buddy.com slash Winston Mayo or use the software vidIQ. And so this is how you plan out your video content strategy. Listen up. It's really important I'm giving you major keys because you waited until the end. All right. So this is how I pick my YouTube 
videos, right? Again, YouTube videos only come in two categories, and this is all social media. Number one, education. You're helping someone learn something very specific. Number two, entertainment. This is more like viral content, all right? So how do you know which one to pick? I would say search-based content is just easier, but the only downfall is that you may fall into the niche or the problem of one-off videos, right? So you'll have one viral video, but people actually don't like your channel. And so you have to figure out, it's called an avatar of like, hey, this is a person that watches my types of videos. And again, people like to watch things that are familiar. There's a pattern or a rhythm. So if you're starting out on YouTube, you may try out a whole bunch of different things don't do that, right? You have to make one type of video consistently and so people can come back to your YouTube channel and they know what to expect from you. So if you make car mechanic type videos of, hey, how to change a tire, how to fix a spark plug, so on and so forth, you have to stay in that niche. You can't do cars and toy car collectibles. It's not the same, right? And so, if you are in the education niche, this is how you know what education niche is. You're helping people how to fix specific problems. So again, I'm gonna use the car analogy, how to change a tire, boom. This is the type of video, you click on it, and then boom, you get your answer, right? Versus entertainment, if you're in like blog, that's pretty entertainment based. It's just you as a personality. And then if you're in the entertainment space, you should hit these topics because they are the most common to everyone and the most relatable. Number one, money. Number two, relationship. Number three, family. Number four, friends. And number five, food. <laughs> and so if you hit those five topics, it should help you if you want to blog do something in that type of subculture underneath the bigger arching umbrella. Like church friends, church relationships, church and money, <laughs> and church food. And so this is how you can use TubeBuddy and vidIQ to pick out your video topics. So they're going to give you on vidIQ, a daily idea AI generator, right? And so when you use the AI generator, it's gonna say like, hey, this is the type of audience that you have. This is the type of videos that they are clicking on. And so I say this, don't waste your time. Make those videos, <laughs> copy. It says that there is nothing new under the sun in the book of Proverbs in the Bible. It's perfectly fine to copy. And one major hack that I learned is that number one, you should copy thumbnails, you should copy the titles as well for videos that are working. And so on vidIQ, it's gonna show you trending videos in your niche, in, in your genre, right? And so you could use that, but you could also use best-selling book titles, right? Because best-seller books, number one, they're best-sellers for a reason, and number two, they're hiring professional copywriters. And so this is a major key. I'm just giving out for free. <laughs> when it comes to titling, that's the most important thing. And when it comes to thumbnails, that's the most important thing. So copying, or if you want to call it stealing, it's stealing, whatever. If you have a professional multi-million dollar best-selling book that's hiring multi-million dollar copywriters, boom, you just hired a multi-million dollar copywriter for free by taking this title. And so you can just take the title and make your own spin, put your own personality into the challenge. So if you know Mr. Beast, everyone does his challenges and people do what works. Don't waste your time on YouTube doing stuff that doesn't work, but also stay true to yourself. You can do, you can literally can do both. You can stay true to yourself and do stuff that works, but you just have to know human psychology. And so there's the, there's a difference between demographs and psychographs. And so psychographs are the things of what makes up a human? Like, what do people click on? And when it comes to thumbnails, just so y'all know, another major key, people are kids, I promise you. They like things that are weird, 
that look strange or are shiny. <laughs> and so you can use the biggest, they like superlatives, right? The biggest, the shortest, the strongest, the smallest, the cheapest, the most expensive. And so when you copy that sort of stuff, or they like listicles. Top 10 ways to get the girl you like to notice you. Top most expensive chocolate flavors of all times, right? So those are a type of videos that will help you in your beginning stages when it comes to making clickable content. And so on vidIQ and TubeBuddy, they're actually going to give you suggestions of what type of videos to make. And also, when it comes to vidIQ, which is really cool, is that they're actually going to make a AI, artificial intelligence thumbnail generator along with TubeBuddy when it comes to A-B testing. It's like, hey, I got two thumbnail ideas, which ones are going to work better. It's going to give you that option, but also the AI will actually generate for you titles. And so they're using the YouTube algorithm and the Google algorithm because Google is a search engine and it owns YouTube to actually generate things that people actually click on. And so you can save a bunch of time. You will not get burnt out because if you focus on making these type of videos, it will give you success. And sometimes once you have a set schedule, you can do more stuff that isn't generated by the software. And then you can do all the stuff you want but if you want to skip the learning curve, definitely use TubeBuddy with my affiliate program and also use vidIQ with my affiliate program so you can bah, jump out of the gym and do a great job. Hey, so I said that I was going to give y'all the top 12 niches to make money on YouTube. So it is in the description box below. It is a gift for watching the video all the way through. So if you just hit the link, you'll receive an email and you'll receive a flyer of the top 12 niches. All right, so that is how I received 100,000 views in seven days from one video. And so if you want to check out how much money I actually got from that one video that went viral with 100,000 views in seven days, you can click here, but also, you can check out what one word makes a YouTube video go viral by clicking here. Make sure to subscribe, like, comment, share. Thanks for watching.